Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial using some of the new products from my haul. I already have my foundation, concealer, and powder on because I'm doing a foundation review video. So I wanted to um, go ahead and get that on and get that video started. So now I'm going to do a tutorial for you, all right? And the uh, top knot, the hairstyle, it's a top knot that I'm wearing today. That will also be in a tutorial very soon for you. Okay, so, so I am going to start with my bronzer and I'm just going to sweep it on. And I'm going to avoid this area and just go up to my forehead and really just warm it up because I am wearing my hair as you can see in a top knot. And uh, I want to, maybe we'll go for, I'm not even sure what look I'm doing today. And we might go for a bronzed beauty look. I don't know, but it'll, whatever happens will happen, my friends, okay? So um, yeah, let's chit chat. I'm just gonna do a little under here just to warm it up slightly. And okay, so that is the bronzer. I'm bringing it a little further on my cheeks just to warm them up and um, it, what it also does is it gives the illusion of having a fuller face. So uh, I do want to do just a slight contour. So I'm going to take the Hoola and I'm going to take a Morphe. This is a very small brush. It's a Morphe E8. And I'm going to just tap into this brush, tap off, and just lightly contour that area right there. Same thing on this side, just to give myself a little bit more chiseled, fuller cheek look. So we are going to go ahead and just blend that down. And then I'm going to go over with the bronzing brush that I used by MAC. And that's good. So let's chisel that jawline out a little bit. And I'm just going to take that same brush, do this. I'm going to come back here where I'm losing a lot of shape. And I'm going to just go ahead and chisel that to give me a stronger, especially when you're wearing your hair up like this, you want to bring back a lot of the things that we lose. So I'm gonna, I chisel just that area out here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And a little bit more of this, just to really strengthen that jawline right there. And then I'm gonna take that same brush I was using and I'm just gonna soften that line Really important to make sure you blend if you're going to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and really chisel that out and then soften it. Okay, so we have really strengthened the jawline there. I need to soften this line slightly. So I'm just taking a real technique brush that has a little bit more oomph to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and ch soften that line down. I'm okay. really excited to use this because I saw that Lisa, this on Lisa Lisa D1's channel and I went out and bought it immediately. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous and so perfect for an aging skin. Okay, so, so this I'm is the Antonym blush brush. It's a soft bristle blush, not as soft as I would like. I think if you struggle with your uh, putting your blush on and it always seems like too much, I think moving into a brush like this that has very soft bristles for you that will just only apply a light amount at a time would probably be the way for you to go. You know what? I'm going to change and show you what I mean by that and use that brush. So I'm going to go into this one here, the middle one. It's a beautiful peach color. And I'm just going to take that brush. I'm going to load up. The only thing about using a softer brush is the bristles will spread for you and you don't want to pick up colors from the other side unless that's your intention. But I'm just going to pick up. So I take the bristles and I'm moving them into that blush and it's actually picking up a fair amount. So I'm going to take it into the mirror and just make sure it's worked into the bristles of the brush. Okay. And then I want to go ahead and just sweep that on and it will go on so lightly that you will start, you'll have to layer it and you can see already it, it does put a beautiful glow, just gorgeous. And then turn the brush all angles because you've worked it into the bristle. So work it sideways, turn the brush over, work it sideways more, and then go straight on. And if you want to build up and give yourself a fuller look to your cheek, you're gonna to want to go a little bit here, not too far into here. So put your two fingers like this and go ahead and just really build up that area. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other cheek. Working it in, see how I'm, I'm setting it and I'm kind of pushing it in, I'm not spreading it so it picks up these colors. I'm just moving the bristles, working it in all sides of it, and then work it in with the mirror. So then you have an even distribution on that brush. And then you're going to just go like so, 
turn the brush like so put your two fingers down and really build your cheek up and there you have it you have a beautiful blush and then you can just kind of work that area I just think these are incredible. And just. you won't have to use a highlighter with this. Okay, so there is that. Now, if you do want to use a highlighter, and we're going to go ahead a little bit, uh, you want to, this one here, like I said, this is not the perfect shade of highlighter for me. But again, you want to use a brush that is very loose. I'm going to use this. This is much too big, so try to get a smaller fan brush. And I'm just going to sweep lightly. And then I'm just going to go over my cheek area and just lightly lightly you want to add that highlight and it's really beautiful it is and by highlighting you do add a lift you see that just beautiful but you want to make sure that you're going a very light-handed with this okay so there we have our beautiful glow all right so what I think I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go put my eyebrows brows on and then I'm going to be back because it'll just go along much quicker if I already have my eyebrows and then I can just finish up the tutorial with you because my hair is already done in a top knot. So I'll be right back. All right, friends, I'm back. Usual suspects on the eyebrows, Anastasia Brow Whiz pencil and tinted gel in caramel. Uh, and we are going to go in with the MAC Art Library palette that I showed in my um haul recently okay so i'm going to go in with the tet a tint which is one of my most favorites right there and i'm just going to i'm picking it up with a mac brush i don't know if this brush is still around it's a 227 but it's just a nice flat brush that really just places the powder right where you need it so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to pack that on the, the, the lid this is just a nice peach tone and I just really, really have always loved it. I love this one and I love Arena by them. That's another beautiful one. But Arena has a satin finish, but I really do like it. So this is just going to be, like I said, a nice simple eye. Uh, it might be a little bit stronger eye because I do want to wear one of the lighter lipsticks that I purchased from Laura Mercier and see if they work for me. But, um, and I like to sometimes have a little bit more color on the eye when I'm wearing a lipstick that's that light. So this is a just a beautiful neutral color and I'm just placing it on the lid. Okay, so I have just placed it on both lids and I just want to look straight ahead and make sure they're even and I really just pat this on and then sweep after I pack the color into the lid. Okay, onto the lid. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Bedellium and I'm just going to soften the edge and bring that color up to the eyebrow, but notice there's no shadow added to this brush. It's just the excess that's hanging out that I'm pushing up to the top of the brow bone. All right, so I'm using a Sigma E25. I'm just going into Espresso, which is the dark brown color that's right next to the Teta Tint. And I have picked up about that much. Tap it into the mirror. Instead of doing this, if you tap into the mirror, it packs it into the bristles and the fallout usually comes out. Okay, so I have to bring my mirror in for this. So I'm just going to lay this color in the outer crease here. I'm not going for anything crazy today. So just laying it right. I'm not really even drawing it in because I'm going to add a little bit of satin to the lid. So I'm just really carving out a corner just to give me a little bit of depth. I'm just placing that espresso right on the corner that I'm going to go in with the Bedellium, Bedellium. And these brushes are really nice. I love this brush. I've had it for years. Another thing I saw Lisa talking about and I bought, she saw some little, uh, I think she's an Australian girl. She saw her talking about it probably a good five years ago and love it. And then when we were watching the uh, Scott Barnes on Tati, he was using some other ones and I went online and ordered them. Okay, so I've just worked that down 
So it's just a nice neutral eye, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I've just added the espresso, just blending it down just slightly. And now I think I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take this, this is a beautiful shade. Uh, it is called Nude Model. It's right here. And I'm gonna take that on my finger. It's a pretty plum. And I'm just and going I'm just to place it the center lower lid, pretty. Okay, so I've placed that just on the center lid. Now I'm gonna just take that and sweep it into the espresso lightly. Same on the other side, just lightly. I think that's all I'm going to actually do to the lid. Okay, so so now I'm gonna go in with, this is a tapered crease eyeshadow brush from Ulta. It's the Ulta Professional Brush. I'm gonna take the Teta Tint that I started out with on the base. And this is a fatter dome brush and I did pick it for that reason. It has a, a it's a little bit bigger on the tip than a pointed brush. And I, because I wanna kinda of smudge that color out on the bottom. So I'm taking the Teta Tint and it's going to place a little bit more than I normally would wear underneath. And it just kind of marries the eye in, doing the same thing on the other side. Now I'm picking up the Pro Smoky Liner from Sephora. I don't think this one's made anymore. And I'm just going to go ahead, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this color here. And the color of that one is called Sugar Plum. And I'm going to just tip, take it on the tip of that brush, just slightly. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the outer edge here. Same on this side, just on the outer edge. Okay, so that is the eye. To now, highlight the center, I am gonna go in and pick up Drop the Rose. It's a pinkier satin finish right here. I'm gonna pick that up on the edge of my brush and I want to place that right in the center just to brighten it up here. So I'm, I'm taking it, I'm sweeping it right here on the inner eye and it just opens my eye up just slightly and brightens that inner area where I tend to be dark a little bit okay, now. I'm gonna go back in with this brush here and I'm just gonna lightly sweep that down so that it's not too strong. And there you have it, okay? So now I'm going to pick up the Sephora Featherweight Blending Brush and I'm gonna go back into that NARS palette and I'm going to pick up some of that blush because you know, I have to marry everything together. So I'm just going to lightly sweep that over the eyes and that just brings everything together and then you can look at your face and say okay do I need any more just need a little touch and there you have it okay so now I'm gonna go ahead with my lipage okay so for lip color I think I can actually go in with a little bit more color on my lip than I had thought I was because I didn't go too heavy on the eyes so I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier saffron pencil this is one of the newer ones and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Okay, so there is a saffron liner. My lips are a little dry right now because I just had um, a laser treatment about three days ago and you do get excessive peeling that goes on after the laser. I have one more treatment to go. I have been recording and that video will come to you, but it takes three months to see the results. It's not a quick fix, my friends. So just hang with me. I do think I'm seeing a little bit 
happening. But as far as the lip lines, so far I've seen nothing, but she said it can take up to three months and they did take a before picture and I will have an after picture. So you'll all know. Okay. I'm just going to fill in the edge here. And these pencils feel very much like her other ones. They, they felt drier when I was testing them in my haul, but they apply beautifully. I'm going to try uh, Shanghai Spice. Uh, it's been a long time since I've worn this one, but I do love this one, so I'm going to try this one. Yeah, this one's nice. Okay, so this is Shanghai Spice by MAC with the Laura Mercier Saffron Liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I could actually wear even a stronger mouth with this, but we're gonna leave it. And now I am going to go off camera, do my mascara, and I will be right back. And the mascara, I'm finishing up things, as you all know, which you will see in my empties. I'm going to do the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and the Shiseido, this is the Shiseido Imperial Lash Mascara Link, ink, not link, ink. Uh, I'm going to put those on and I'll have my earrings on and my regular clothes and I will be right back, my friends. All, All right, my friends, I am back with the finished look. I threw on these earrings. I had shown you these a long time ago, uh, a couple months back. I purchased them from TJ Maxx. Always check out your TJ Maxx for great accessories. I love going in there. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in Lord & Taylor or any of the higher end shops. And I, I think I paid $12 for them. Just love them. And my top is really cute. It is from, I think I got this at Nordstrom. I'll list and link everything below for you, but it's great. You can dress this up or dress it down. You can wear it with black slacks or black jeans, white jeans. It's just really pretty. It's a very comfortable, flowy type of top. And I wanted to also mention that I did set my face with the Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Mist. I really like this. It has no alcohol in it, so it's a great one. And I also added a little bit of the Estee Lauder Burgundy Suede to my tight line and I curled my lashes with Shiseido's Lash Curler. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you're going to give it a try. You can really do this look with any eyeshadows you have that are similar. They don't have to be MAC. They can be NYX. They can be ELF. They can be anything. It's just a really simple, simple eye and then really build up your lashes to help it pop. And don't be afraid to put a little bit of color with this type of look. I didn't go as strong with the eyes as I thought I was going to. So this lipstick ha actually helps to bring it together. And you see the beautiful glow you get from these blushes. Oh, and the foundation is Candid by Revlon. The powder is also and the concealer, which you probably saw um, a couple days ago in my review on. So. And there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you are aware of everything that I put up on the tube and uh, go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.